For 2,700 years, we lived in Iran, Jews as minorities, before Islam and after Islam. Keeping Jewishness, keeping our tradition, believing and staying as a Jew is the most important thing for us. Growing up in this household, I was raised with stories about the Iranian Jewish community, the plight of the community, and the, the stories leaving Iran after the Islamic Revolution and resettling in Los Angeles, and the role that my grandfather played in helping a lot of the Iranians coming to the United States. The end of Iran's monarchy came early today when Khomeini's followers took control of the palace of the Shah. My office was even in the center of town where I was watching all the demonstrations. I listened to the radio and said that 11 o'clock today, there were those demonstrations in this city, that city, that city, about 10 different cities. And this is not accidental. He said the new Iranian Islamic Republic would be inspired by the stern religious principles of Islam, nothing else. That's why we felt the need and the necessity to take our families out. After the revolution, there was a lot of Iranian Jews arriving here. We were lost. A lot of people didn't speak the language. They didn't have the education to adjust themselves. So that's when the Iranian-American Jewish Federation came to existence. From there on, I was involved. At that time, but Carter was very, very angry with the Iranian government because of the hostages. We were afraid that we would be deported. We went there, I think we were about 10 of us, and we visited him about giving us a protection as minority Iranian Jews. And he agreed to that. And I was happy to have a chance to be of service to my community. My grandfather is working with the administration to ensure that the American Iranian Jewish community was safe. Reminds me of the power of our community leaders. And so when I got to campus, I knew that I needed to be a strong voice for my community. When I got to UCLA, I saw that there was a very contentious campus climate surrounding Israel. I saw that we were dealing with issues of anti-Semitism on campus, and we saw anti-Israel rhetoric. So I knew that I wanted to play my part in combating these negative trends. At UCLA, we have a group called BIPAC, the Bruins for Israel Public Affairs Committee. And our group is hoping to strengthen the US-Israel alliance and UCLA's relationship with Israel through political activism, both on campus and in Congress. Today, we're lucky to be joined by two members of Congress who work closely with students in their districts. A lot of that work draws from the same themes as my grandfather's work when he was doing his advocacy, protecting the needs of your community, ensuring the well-being of your people, making sure that our rights are defended and that our tradition is guaranteed for generations to come. These are the values that inspire us. These are the things that motivate us. We need to support young people in their activism. And I do hope that he will continue what he's doing. And God's blessing, maybe his son will do the same. Who knows? Ladies and gentlemen, APAC campus activist Amir Kashfi.